you've read something a hundred times, yet forget it instantly, but one random moment from years ago stays crystal clear, why does your brain choose what to remember and what to erase? Memory isn't a video recorder. Your brain constantly decides which information is worth saving and which should fade away. This decision happens in milliseconds, guided by emotion, attention, and repetition. At the center of memory formation is the hippocampus, the brain's filing system. When you experience something new, your brain briefly stores it as short-term memory, but only a small fraction ever makes it to long-term storage. Emotion plays a powerful role. Events linked to fear, joy, surprise, or stress release chemicals like adrenaline and dopamine, which strengthen neural connections. That's why emotional moments, both good and bad, are easier to remember. Attention is another key factor. If your mind is distracted, the brain assumes the information isn't important. Multitasking, scrolling, or passive listening drastically reduces memory formation. Repetition strengthens memory through a process called synaptic reinforcement. Each time you recall something, the neural pathway becomes stronger, like walking the same trail until it becomes a road. On the other hand, forgetting is not a failure, it's a feature. The brain actively removes unused information to stay efficient. Sleep plays a huge role here. During deep sleep, the brain organizes memories, strengthens important ones, and discards irrelevant data. Stress, however, disrupts this system. Chronic stress floods the brain with cortisol, which damages memory centers and makes recall harder. In simple terms, you remember what feels meaningful, focused, repeated, and emotionally charged, and forget what your brain considers noise. Memory isn't about intelligence, it's about how your brain decides what matters. See you in the next video. Stay curious and take care.